you know, uh, just had another workout today. Very exciting. I just announced to the guys our all-conference performers. Uh, honorable mention, offensive tackle, uh, Joey Claybrook. Uh, uh, second team, Corey Dublin. Sincere Hainsworth, uh, both of them on the offensive line. Uh, Stefan Hutterson. Uh, Dorian Williams. I think I got everybody there, correct? Yeah, Who? Claybrook. I got him already. And then first team, Cam Sample, Patrick Johnson, and then also uh, – uh, Ryan Wright at punter. You know, it's unusual as uh, Cam had never made anything before. You know, but there's a few guys that I wish would have made some. It's, it's tough. You know, we've got 11 teams in this late league, so it's difficult. And I, I think you got to get five votes to just make honorable mention, something like that. So it's uh, difficult to all conference to, to make. You guys are going to interview uh, Nick Anderson here in a moment. I think he should have made something for sure. And Michael Pratt after that, I think he should have been freshman of the year. But I'm not the one tabulating the votes. So uh, we're, we're uh, uh, excited about that for those guys. It's the most all-conference guys that Tulane has had since 1998, uh, which is good. Uh, you know, since I last spoke to you, uh, uh, Chip Long has been added to our staff as our offensive coordinator. He will also be coaching the quarterbacks. Uh, 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 George Barnett has uh, started at uh, for us on, and he'll be our offensive line coach. George comes to us from Miami of Ohio. Excited to get him. I, I know some people who, who, who know George well and recommended him highly, and he's going to do a super job for us. The same thing with Coach Long. Uh, you know, we're going to have a new defensive coordinator, but nothing is official right now, so I can't comment on that. Uh, but we will have a new defensive coordinator that will be with us. Hopefully by tomorrow I'll be able to announce that. But we got to cross some T's and, and dot some I's. Uh, uh, you know, we, we all know Coach Hall went over to Southern Miss. And then Jordy Joseph uh, is going to be the wide receiver coach over there. He's been working as an analyst for us. We're really proud of Jordy. He's got three degrees from Tulane. And, did a fantastic job for us. He'll be their wide receiver coach. And then Cody Kennedy went over there. I, I'm not sure if he's the assistant head coach or offensive coordinator or something, but uh, uh, Cody did a, a, a super job for us. And then uh, Ben Thomas is staying with us and coaching the offensive line. He's one of our graduate assistants, and he's uh, going to go over with Coach Hall as an analyst. So, uh, you know, uh, going to lose a few guys. We're, we're happy for them. And, we're also bringing some guys into the family as well. Questions for Coach? Willie, what went into your thinking, your decision process, and deciding to change defensive coordinator? Well, it's always difficult to do that. There, there's some, some areas that we did a very nice job of, some areas that we want to improve on, and, and uh, uh, just uh, uh, there's some things that we, we want to uh, uh, do a little bit differently. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, Coach Curtis worked extremely hard for us and, and appreciate all of his efforts. Is it a heavy man defense team? Do you anticipate playing more zone in the future, or is that not part of the, the process? Well, you, you always want to be able to do both. And your thoughts on the bowl game? Well, we're excited about it. You know, it's uh, as I told our guys, there's not very many teams who played 11 games, much less also a, a bowl game. And the uh, first time I've ever played out Bo Bo Boise at their stadium. Uh, you know, it's another chance to, to, to play on national TV. We'll be on ESPN. And I believe we'll be the only game in, in the world going on at that time. I don't think there's going to be another game on any other station. It's the only bowl game I know that's going on, on in the NCAA. And, and I know the NFL's not playing any games that day. So. Uh, I, I don't, don't think there's going to be high school games on, on a Tuesday. So if people want to watch football at 2.30 uh, our time, uh, wherever they're at all over, the, all over this great world, they're going to be watching the Green Wave. So we're excited about that. All right, guys, Coach has got to go. Uh, we'll have him back tomorrow. You bet. Thank you. Thanks, Coach.